Hi guys, I'm back with my comparison video. This time we'll talk about the humbucking entry war between two of my favorite brands, Yamaha and Sire. All bases here that I review uh, all made in Indonesia. So which one would you choose? Uh, hear my uh, story a bit about these two brands and these two series. S Sire M2, well, Sire M2 price is 379 USD and Yamaha TRBX305 is 399 USD in Thoman price. It could vary somewhere else, so you could mm, check it out in your area. For me, Yamaha has been my uh, first base in my arsenal. It was uh, I got my BP615 as my first base that I purchased by my own money. It felt good. It's active only, so all that I remember, it's all a pretty decent base at that time with a good price. I regret I, I sold it. So I was still young and still learning to play the bass. So need to you know need to get my adventure to try more other brands but i've owned and played some uh yamaha bass series in my early playing until now and still i still own the entry mid and high yamaha basses i have the bpn2 and trp5p and uh made in 94 96 uh that that's been used by abraham laboriel all are made by yamaha japan Previously, I had TRB JP2, TRB62. Uh, I played TRB 5P, uh, 5P2, 6P1, and then TRB 6P2. I played Yamaha BP Indonesian uh, 7, 735, 505, 605, and a bunch of other series I didn't even remember. So my ears know. Uh, the Yamaha sounds really really well I know the I know that joined really well before I got into Sire until the Sire born in 2015 and not long after that the modern M3 came up and not long after M3 came up only in four string the M2 in four and five string came up which was my favorite at the, at the time until now I bought 305 before M2 came up though but gave it to my brother not long after the purchase uh, the feeling was just all that good with uh, TRBX305 and M2 has been my favorite because it's so affordable back then uh, until now it's still affordable although the other series have gone up but the Sire M2 still has tons of killing features uh, from the beginning until now that sweet memory about the TRBX305 with the 5 uh, EQ preset made me try to get another TRBX305 because to me the the 5 switch for the the preset EQ is so helpful and useful in live and even in recording so although it's rare and getting uh, more difficult to find here in Indonesia I got one in blue in my back so I love the, the color and I think it could be an interesting comparison that that might help those with just some money to get a new base for beginners even so for intermediate or pros pro players you could use both bases you could use both bases and my back uh, for your your professional player playing and even for the beginners so here are my own experience and honest opinions about these two gears as I don't get paid by these two brands to do this video comparison. So just hang on. Both have my favorite wood combo, mahogany body and rosewood board that gives you such a nice low end. It's a favorite combo for a bass. M2 has 35 inch scale for five string. It's proven still holding on tightly when I tuned it down a whole step. I've been using it live and in recordings. It's still an awesome bass to me, never disappointing. 305 has 34 inch skill. I still need to test it out by tuning it down a whole step to compare the feel and the sound against the M25. I will get back to this experience and show how it goes to you next in the next videos.
body through hole stringing option known as to give a better sustain. Though 305 doesn't have the stringing through body option, I think the sustain is still pretty good too. M2 has the passive option. It's useful when the active mode losing out the battery power and when the active mode is in trouble all of a sudden on stage. I like this uh, feature on M2. Too bad 305 is only on active mode, so always check your battery health before playing. M2 has two batteries. 305 has one battery. More economical on 305. But both have great headroom to me. No problem. But 305 has a bit, flim has a bit flimsy battery cover. M2 latest cover now has a sturdier and simpler access battery cover. Although it could be troublesome when the cover is not closed really well, it could cut off the active circuit on my base. Actually, uh, this happens on my base, so I need to be careful with that. Both have four bolts to hold the neck to the body strongly. Love it. Both have nice tuning packs and bridge. Black and gray are nice color to have, no complaint. Both have strong low B tone, tight, massive, no doubt. I love both. Both humbuckers pick up, give a really nice white and thick modern tone, but it still has that vintage neck tone both. Somehow Yamaha 305 still has that distinguished and famous Yamaha clear voice, while the Sire M2 tends to have a more neutral humbucking sound to me, but both sound good to my ears, so powerful. Having a 3-band EQ, M2 gives a wide and flexible tone shaping option to pro players. The bad side it might get the beginners lost in the preamp setting, too many knobs for them, even for pros. While the 2-band preamp in 305 gives a simpler preset and quick knob navigation to most players on stage, more friendly to beginners and practical to pros. Yeah, but I love both. I don't mind both, but it might be troublesome for some people. The M2 body shape might put off some players who like the sound. It happens to my customers. They don't like the shape of M2 body, and then so they don't buy it. But uh, 305 body shape might be more acceptable to, acceptable to most people. I agree with that. Both have a nice fast neck feeling, although the, the, the 305 having 5 piece maple mahogany neck could give more stability, but the M2 neck says it's Canadian maple, so well, both uh, a bargain. Let's see in the, in the long run of the quality and stability of those necks. 305 has a much stronger jack socket than MT, M2 uh, for sure. You could see it. Both weigh the same, around 5 kilograms. Still manageable to me, though.
now my conclusion is uh, I personally don't mind having both I have both now even I have two uh, M2 the white and uh, the maple one now I have 305 I love both bases to be honest with you both a winner to me in terms of sounds and playability although the build quality aspect is slightly better on 305 I don't know why maybe because Yamaha has been around uh, in a longer time than Sire but okay Although M2 may have more features in a slightly affordable way for international price. But in Indonesia, 305 is uh, 69 US dollar cheaper than the M2. So, but it's difficult to find the stuff here in Indonesia. I don't know uh, how about in your area. And the body shape might change some people to go from M2 to, three, to 305. It happens to, uh, it happens to some people, I know it. So let me know which one you like in the comment section and why. Okay, thanks for watching and please like, subscribe and share this video. 
if you like it so I could make another honest comparison uh, and share it to you all right guys thank you see ya